What's up, YouTube? Jeffy Style OG. And on today's video, we've got an unboxing and a review of the Adidas DRUP Runner. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap the notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like Rex Maverick, salute. So first off, let's talk a little bit about how we arrived at this review to begin with. You ever go shopping and you see something out the corner of your eye and you can't decide if it's ugly, pretty, or both? That's my experience with this Adidas D-Rup runner. Now I've seen it in the sneaker store several times and I've kept saying to myself, is that a good looking shoe or is it ugly? I really couldn't decide. So yesterday I decided, just go ahead and grab it, take it home, live with it a little bit, and share it with the Style OG audience and come up with a true opinion on what I think. So that's what we got today. I'm gonna do an unboxing, put the shoe on, review it, or review it and put the shoe on, whatever order we go in, and tell you my feelings on the Adidas D-Rup Runner. Let's hop right into the review. Okay, so here we are with the Adidas D-Rups in the Solar Red Bluebird colorway. Copped them for a hundred bucks. Now to me, to nowadays, that's a pretty good price for a quality shoe. Most Adidas shoes, especially the ones that are more hyped or even less hyped, are gonna be above a buck. So we're starting off what I think is a good value. Now it comes in your Adidas Originals box, and I think they're considered an original because it has some design elements of some of the older shoes, I think in particular, the Marathon model. So I think that's why they're considering an Adidas Original. Now what I like to do before I get into my review of a product, I like to get an understanding of what the manufacturer has to say about the product themselves. So let's do this here. Let's see what Adidas has to say. Now, the tagline is, DRUP is disruptively simple. I get it, DRUP, disruptive, little slow, but I picked up on it. Now they say it's a minimalist shoe with a bold webbing design. DRUP is proof that minimalism can be bold. These shoes have an ultra flexible mesh upper covered in a layer of stretch grid webbing. A web wrapped EVA midsole echoes the geometric look. It has a signature grid webbing upper giving subtle compression and it's cushioned to lock in the foot and foam pockets. And you have an ortholite cushion sock lining. So now we've heard what Adidas thinks, let's see what I think. Now my first impression in the store and now in hand, to me it looks like Spider-Man went to the Adidas factory. He said, look, get me a Pharrell human shoe, a Yeezy, throw some webbing on so I can fight crime and make me a shoe. That's what it looks like to me. This is Spider-Man's Yeezy slash Pharrell human. That's my first initial thought. So now let's talk a little bit about the build and the design of the shoe. Now one of the things I definitely like about it, it's very minimal. Despite if you kind of get away from the colorway, it's a very minimalist design, which I like. Very simple. Like they said, disruptively simple. I agree. Pretty light shoe, I like that. It seems like it's gonna be light and easy and comfortable to wear. Now as far as the design elements, the first thing that really stands out is this webbing. Now the purpose of the webbing, I don't know. On the upper, you can play with it a little bit, but as you get down to the midsole, it's either glued or attached. And if you notice, if you flip the shoe over on the bottom, the web design or theme continues on the bottom. So they went all the way with the webbing. On the outside or lateral side of the shoe, very minimal, very basic. That's the point of the shoe, I believe. As you turn around to the back, you got a nice black heel tab with Adidas tree foil on it. I like that little black hit. I can see you wearing this with black jeans, black joggers, now as we turn it around to the medial side, the simple design continues, but if you can get a little closer, there's a little Adidas branding and some numbers inside. Don't know what the numbers stand for, but I like that little touch. Maybe serial number, I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comment section. One of the things I do definitely like aesthetically is the one piece construction of it. Really reminds me of a Pharrell human shoe. I think this is kind of like a budget version if you want to be honest about it. Now, one of the things we definitely need to check out, and I'm going to give you more of my opinion when I try it on, is the Ortholite sock liner that's going to add some more comfort. Actually, let me take it out and show it to you real quick. You have this nice sock liner here. Feels like it's going to add a little extra comfort. I probably wouldn't wear this shoe without it. Doesn't feel like it's going to be comfortable, so I'm glad they added that in. Now, it comes with your typical flat white laces. I think some people have said that they come with black laces. I didn't get in any of my box. Maybe I got ripped off. I can see how the black laces might make this stand out even more. So I might even add some black laces if I keep it. So now that we had a look at the shoe, kind of went over the design and the aesthetics of it, now it's for the moment of truth. I'm hoping they're gonna be comfortable, and let's see, even though they're kind of shocking in hand, 
let's see how they look on foot. Now, as you can see, I made sure to throw these on with shorts. I wanted to give you an unobstructed view on how these standout sneakers look. No joggers or jeans or pants in the way. Now, first thing I definitely have to caution you on, these were kind of difficult to put on, as you can see. I don't know if the liner is narrow. I kind of had to shove my foot in a little bit. Didn't like that. Another thing I didn't like is that although they did feel kind of true to size, it feels like my foot is squeezed in a little bit. And I don't have a wide foot. And you can kind of see my foot kind of pushing the shoe out. I don't like that aesthetically. So I might size up. They kind of feel okay as far as the length, but I think the width is a little tight. I wear an 11 and a half. I think I might go up to a 12. Now, as far as once I got them on, they feel pretty comfortable. The Ortholite sock liner definitely gives nice cushion. Feels like it's gonna feel good, nice and protected, soft and cushioned. Now, as far as how they look on foot, I don't know. The colorway, a little bit out there. Don't know if it's my aesthetic, but the thing about this kind of shoe, it's supposed to stand out. So if I'm stepping outside of the box, outside of the comfort zone, I might rock them. As far as having versatility and rocking this shoe a lot, this colorway, definitely not gonna have it. I think this shoe might look better in the different colorways that are a little more subtle, maybe the all white and the linens or the blacks. I might give those a shot as well. So what's my final verdict on the Adidas d Runner in the Solar Red Bluebird colorway? Kind of mixed. Few things I really did like. I like the minimalist design, but this colorway, eh, can't wear it that often. Gonna have to give it a low score on the versatility scale. As far as value, a hundred bucks, I think that's a good price for the quality of the shoe. So the value, give it a bit of a high score. Now as far as the comfort and the feel and the fit, a little mixed there as well. Kinda true to size, but it's a little snug as I mentioned when I had it on foot. Now what I would suggest, maybe not this colorway, try a different colorway. I haven't seen the other colorways in person, so I can't give an honest assessment. I gotta go on what I experienced. So putting a colorway, design, comfort, and value, I'm gonna give this one seven and a half salutes. Okay, so there you have it. My unboxing and review of the Adidas d Runner. Let me know in the comment section your opinion on it, any experience you have, and what you rock. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of your videos are released every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out tomorrow.